Howdy doodly do, howdy doodly do, how are you all doing? Welcome to episode 78, Merlo's Movie Massacre. Yes, uh, don't check your eyes, uh, that is a new thumbnail that we have on. Uh, I need to update it now for the intro and outro, but I'll get around to that. Uh, thank you, Joe, from uh, More Sense Designs Graphics uh, for that wonderful, wonderful new... Uh, um, thumbnail that he created for me as well as the other many many amazing things that he has done <laughs> a ton for me at this time so joe from more sense designs they got a chat here let's uh say hi to everybody in the chat uh we got Susie lopez hello my friend uh Teresa cobb super excited thank you for joining in jimmy jimmy presley jimmy i miss you man so thank you for dropping in and uh, Bill D. Russell, locked and loaded, doodly, <laughs> doodly, howdy, doodly, do, howdy, doodly, do. I'm a coverage called some classic horrors. Hello, hello, hi, Kim uh, or Kimberly, whichever you prefer. Uh, and John from behind the, behind the fiends. Thank you, John, for doing the the, the teaser reaction for our uh, our new our new teaser. It's kind of like a news update teaser that we did. It's not the official teaser that, well, neither of her are official because we haven't shot the movie yet, but it's not the Indiegogo teaser. We'll call it that. But it's our new teaser that features uh, the uh, Doug, Douglas uh, Vermeeren, who uh, we cast as Destry Webster, the news anchor, our newest cast member. We might have another new cast member or two coming along pretty soon. Uh, who else do we got here? Alexi Angelino. Hey, Alexi. And Peter Anthony. Hey, what's up? Wow. Good chat so far. Thank you guys all for tuning in. This is going to be a fun new thing. We're, I'm going to try new fun stuff like this. I mean, I've done the trivia. Um, I'll keep doing the trivia if you guys like it too. I'll do trivia again if you guys like that. But this is kind of, was kind of a fun idea that my buddy Joe came up with from More Sense Designs. Another plug. Plug for my, I, I have his uh, logo <laughs> doing at, at the very beginning now too. Uh, you probably noticed, great guy. And uh, he came up with this idea. So hopefully you guys like this game that we're doing tonight because this, this is all him. He even came up with all the 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 uh, screenshots that we're using here. Uh, we got some new chat. We got Chris Snyder. Hey Chris, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for having me on your uh, channel last. Uh, was it last week? I think it was the last week. Everything is kind of a blur right now, just for, for me. Just so you know, I can't keep track of anything. And Nerd King Productions got good, got a good amount of chatters. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you can, or the dislike button if you really hate me. That's okay if you do. A lot of people do. <laughs> we know that. I learned that ever since I dropped the Sawyer Massacre that people hate me. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, feel hit, 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 feel free to hit either button. It does help the channel, believe it or not. And uh, I will say this, man, I'm surprised that uh, the that new teaser we drop again. Uh, John from Behind the Fiends did a, a teaser reaction to it yesterday. Thank you, John. Uh, it's 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 getting some good views and getting some likes and stuff. So that's really really cool. I'm not sure how that happened. I didn't do anything to make that happen. I was like, what, did I accidentally hit the like pay for views? I don't know if there is a pay for views button in YouTube. But you never know. I, I said it. I always set my stuff to monetize now. Anything that's not Sawyer Massacre related. Because I don't monetize that that stuff, obviously. But I every new thing I set to monetize. So I don't know if there I if I clicked an extra button that I hope not. I hope I, I hope not. I hope I'm not paying for views on that teaser. <laughs> hope not. Uh, it's it's good in one way, but at the same time, it's it's probably not the thing I would want to pay views on. But it's pretty cool though. Who else we got here? We got Margo Margo we Margo Wex is uh is doing some art for me, and I've seen a sneak peek today. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'll st say stay tuned on that. Uh, if they hate you, you're doing something right. Yes, that is that is so right. That is so right. I feel so somebody because I got haters. That's the way I look at it. Uh, now, I'll say this before I get into doing this competition. I know that there is latency. There is latency from me talking to you guys responding 
uh, more so me u- using OBS rather than StreamYard. So uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of a test before we start doing this because I need to know exactly how long the latency, because there's a time limit on this stuff that we're going to be doing today. Oh, and there's our buddy uh, uh, Carlos from The Lazy Reviewer. Hey, Carlos. Uh, but if you haven't checked out our Indiegogo campaign for Unseen yet, please do. We're 56% uh, of our goals. We just need 44% more. It's not a huge goal. I just want to make sure we can crush that goal and go into in demand so I can really start to go to work on pre-production. Uh, otherwise, because if I, if I, we don't hit the goal, that means I got to do another one of these campaigns. And I really don't want to be doing uh, a new campaign, uh, come September, um, because it's just a lot of pre-production work I got to do. I think no matter what, we're probably going to be pushing the filming to next spring. It's going to be pretty damn cold here in the winter in Canada. Uh, I'm in the warm part of Canada, mind you, but, uh. But uh, it still gets cold. Too cold for me to want to do a lot of outdoors filming. And there is a fair amount that takes place outdoors. So, yeah. Um, I had a point with that. I did have a point. I totally forgot what it was. But Oh, yeah. Just just go support our Indiegogo campaign. Share it if you can't, if you can't donate. Uh, totally understand. You know, money's tight for a lot of people. I get it. But share it out there. Let's get the word going so that uh, we can possibly get uh, this thing into de- in demand by uh, the end of the campaign. Again, it's not a huge goal. Uh, I think we can do it. I think there's no reason why we shouldn't. Uh, so it's just a matter of uh, your guys' help. Help us get there so I can start pre-production in September. I really want to do that. I got all kinds of areas I need to scout, but I just don't have time to scout right now because I'm always focused on promoting and networking and all that you know how it is any, any of you like peter knows peter definitely knows he's uh done all that before <laughs> making new promotions thank you joe though for making that part of it easier for me uh i will say that i will definitely say joe lawrence of more sense designs has just taken a whole bunch of weight off my shoulders and that really means a lot to me and hey speak of the devil there he is hey hey hello everyone hope everyone's doing great what I miss? Oh, I'm just rambling on. That's it. And I got another dude, Sam41. Sam with a whole bunch of numbers. Hey, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I didn't miss anybody else, I hope. I hope I didn't. Uh, but I also got my other shout-outs I got to do. I like to, I just do them. It's, it's, nobody's paying me anything. These aren't sponsors, just so you guys know. These are people I like, and I like their work. And that's... Michelle Apollonia of Breathless Beauty. She makes these awesome, awesome horror-themed dolls. Go check them out. Really cool stuff. Oh, there's our buddy Leatherface. We love it. Very, very cool. And my other other friend, Michelle, Michelle Blasky of Miss 44, does this really cool artwork. All links are in the descriptions. Go check it out. Uh, Wonderful, wonderful work from these two lovely Michelles. Michelle A., and Michelle B. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll get to, we'll get to it. I'm, I'm going to have to do a test because of the latency. This darn latency is going to piss me off. So I'm going to count. I'm going to look on my other on the actual YouTube link so I can and time it with my timer on my phone so I know exactly how much time to give you after the clip has has stopped. So, uh, Joe, if you want to be my volunteer for this, that would be really awesome. Do you mind being my volunteer for this, Joe? Say yes or no. And I should be timing this, actually. <laughs> Joe Lawrence, let me know if you are willing to be my volunteer. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Oh, again, this is the latency problem. This is the this is what the latency does. You bet, man. There you go. I figured as much. So what I'm going to do, Joe, I am going to uh, I'm going to count down three, two, one, and when I and I'm going to say now. When I say now, you just type a letter on your keyboard or a number. Okay, does that make sense? I'm gonna I'm not going to wait for the, <laughs> the latency response. And I'm going to see how long our latency really is okay here we go i hope you're ready here we go three 
two, one, now. Just going to see how long it takes for Joe to type something. That poop stuff is in it. The pink poop is in it, I hope. <laughs> I hope that's not it. I'm going to, that was about 20 seconds, if that was. I'm just going to see if there's any, because that wasn't one thing, but okay, maybe that's it. Yes, yeah, so, okay, okay, so it was only 20 seconds. That's not terrible. Bad joke. Okay, pink poop, pink poop. Okay, I think that's pink poop. I don't know, it might not be. Who knows? So it's about a 20-second latency is what we have. So that means after the image uh, has... After I have dropped the image, uh, what we're going to do in round one, you have five seconds after the image has dropped, but because we have latency, it's going to be 25 seconds. Okay? We're going to do three rounds, easy, medium, and hard, okay? And each round has got five in them. These are screenshots from horror movies. It's simply that. Round one, points would be worth just one point. Round two, points would be worth two points. <sighs> Answers will be worth two points. Uh, and round three, three points. Pretty simple. Okay? I don't know who's all going to be participating, but I'm going to I'm going to keep track. I'm just going to put whoever's name. Oh, Joe can't play because he made the answers. <laughs> um, I'll put I'll put any, anybody though. I'll put Bill, put Alexi. I'll put Peter. Peter, who else is in the chat? Who else do we got in the chat? Oh, John from Behind the Fiends. Hopefully we don't got more than two. One John. John from Behind the Fiends. We've got Margo. Max. Uh, do, 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 do. Nerd King Productions. I'll just put nerd so that's easier for me. And uh, do, 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 do. Teresa Cobb. I'll just put Teresa. I don't think you'll be the only, I think you'll be the only Teresa. Well, you never know. But uh, oh, Kimberly from Macabrish. And I don't know if there's anybody else. Oh, but Jimmy. Jimmy, Susie, I don't think Susie's actually here, but I'll put her name down anyways. Uh, did I miss anyone else? Jimmy, Susie, I don't think I did, but... Oh, uh, Carlos from the laser, I'll put Carlos in as well. I did miss him. Let's put all the different names that I'm getting in. And if I did miss you, oh, there we go, we, uh, JT. I'll put JT in. Thank you for tuning in, JT. We're just about to get started. <laughs> just sharing the time. Hey, thanks, man. Share it out if you want. We're about to start the easy round, okay? All right. We are going to start the easy round. So you'll have, basically, you'll have five seconds after to type your answer in because these are supposedly that easy. Should I make it five seconds or ten? I don't know. Maybe some of you guys aren't good typers. We'll make it ten just in case. Uh, you never know, I might be a little off on the latency too. So on my end, it's going to be like 30 seconds because I there's at least a 20-second latency. All right? Okay. Good stuff. You guys ready? You guys ready to play this wonderful new game? I hope so. Okay. Here is your first image from a horror film. You just need to name the horror film uh, after the image is is gone you have 10 seconds 30 seconds according to my because well because i'm not going to see them <laughs> but it's really 10 seconds you have 10 seconds don't think you have 30 seconds you got 10 okay here we go first one ready here we go all right you guys got 10 seconds now We'll see who all gets it. Teresa's got a point. 
Uh, that must have only, well, if Mars attacks. Uh, JT's got a point. Okay, that's it. All right. So we got who got who all got it in that amount of time? I believe it was JT, uh, Margo, Alexi, and oh, Bill. Sorry, we can't take your first answer. <laughs> Uh, Lexi did okay. Lexi got a point. Did I put Margo? I did not. Where is she? All right, there we go. So, Alexi, Margo, and Teresa, and JT all got points on that. That was Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Reset this. Okay, this is easy round though. My, I don't know if all of these are easy. Just remember if you, if you guys think some of these are hard. Um, oh, unfortunately, I'll only be able to listen because of RMC. Oh, no worries, man. Uh, if you can't play, you can't play. It's okay. I like Beetlejuice. Yeah, Be Beetlejuice is great. Uh, I think, I thought, like, I personally thought the Beetlejuice one there was easy. Um, but uh, there was one I didn't know in the easy, so we'll see. <laughs> there was one I didn't know. And there was another one I thought, hmm, if they haven't seen that, they definitely wouldn't know. Um, so some of these, it's like you have to see them. Some of them are not, like, the most recognizable. Um, but we'll still they'll still be worth one point each, no matter what, in round one. Okay. R next one in round one. Also in the easy for one point. Okay, ready? You'll have 10 seconds after you see it. And there you go. Let's see who gets it. Okay, there we go. And stop. Okay. So Nerd King, Teresa, uh, and JT's horror discussion all got it in time. It's Child's Play 3, not the first Child's Play. It is Child's Play 3. Uh, just want to make sure Nerd King got the point there. And Teresa. So, so far, JT and Teresa are in the lead with two points each. Alexi, Margo, uh, Nerd, and Nerd King Productions all got one. And uh, my least favorite of the series. Yeah, it's not one of my favorites. I don't know if it's my least. I haven't, you know what? I haven't seen all of them, though. I kind of stopped after, I stopped after Seed of Chucky. I only like the first two, and that's it. Maybe uh, Curse of Chucky's good. I don't know, and I, I didn't see the remake. The remake apparently is really just a totally different movie. Shouldn't even really be called a remake because it's not tied to original law. Anyways. Anyways, that's me rambling on again, so we won't <laughs> get too far into that. Okay. Two is my favorite. One is my favorite. I like two, but to me, I don't know. The less is more approach in one is... It's my favorite. Yeah. Anyways, moving along. I could talk about that all day if I want, but I'm not going to. Uh, next one. You guys ready for the next one? I got a reset going on here. Okay. Ready? Here is image number three. Oh, that one should be easy. That one should be... Oh, I forgot to hit start on my phone. I'll just do a couple seconds less. But that should be... I think everybody should get that one. Good. We got somebody. And... Do, 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 do. Okay. And time. All right. So, we've got uh, JT and Sam. Both got it. Evil Dead? No. <laughs> That's it. It's just Jake. I thought that was. E I'm not even a Friday fan, and I knew that. JT and Sam. Okay, well, I don't have Sam on my list here, so I'm going to put Sam. I hope I didn't miss anyone else. Sam gets a point. Okay, JT is now in the lead. Yeah, your little is Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. So there. Okay. Next one. Are you guys ready for the next one here? This one. This one I would actually consider 
I, I mean, I know it because I know the movie. But if you haven't seen the movie, you might be screwed on this one. So just remember, Joe made these. So blame Joe. If, <laughs> if this is not easy enough for you, blame Joe. No. <laughs> you can blame me. Um, anyways, yes, easy number four. Ho, 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 ho. And we're starting the time now. The latency is so hard to figure out on this thing. And that is it. All right, who all got it here? <laughs> uh, gotta go. Okay, one. Kimberly from Macabrous, then Teresa Cobb, uh, and JT's Horror Discussion. And that's it. Just the three of you. That's okay. Well, hey, it's three of you. Yes, it was House. JT's uh, up there. And who who is the other one that got it? Oh, it was Teresa. Hey, close between Teresa and JT right now. Close. Four for JT. Three for Teresa. Last one. This one was this one I didn't know. I haven't seen the movie though. I haven't seen the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, then that makes it difficult. You know? So that's why I wouldn't have got this. I just wouldn't have got it. Yeah. Simply that. Here we go. Last one of round one of the easy round. This is the easy round. <laughs> Here we go. I haven't seen this movie. <laughs> and we're going. What's this one called again? I, mean, <laughs> I gotta actually look. Uh, make sure. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's see who's got it. Okay. And we are stopping this right. No. Okay. Kimberly from Macabre's got it. Night of the Demons. JT got it. That's it. Just, yeah. There. See, it's not that easy, Joe. <laughs> okay, JT's killing it, though. And Kimberly got it as well. She's got two now. Kimberly, that puts you in third place. <laughs> all right, after round one, the easy round, JT got all of them. Congrats, JT. Uh, Teresa got three. Kimberly got two, and uh, Alexi, Margo, Nerd, Nerd, what was it? Nerd, oh, God. <laughs> nerd something podcast. <laughs> nerd King Productions, sorry. Nerd King Productions uh, and Sam all got one. All right, you guys ready for round dose? Round dose. Hope you guys are ready because uh, these are getting a little harder now, just so you guys know. Not going to get easier, that's for sure. Okay, right, let me reset this here. All right, Just do this so I can separate everything. I do it like this. Try to get, try to be organized, you know. Hope you guys are having fun, though. All righty, let's do this here. Round two. Uh, I guess I watch too many movies. <laughs> they get harder, promise that. Uh, but everyone, I hope you have fun. Yeah, it's about fun. I might do, you know, I might do another game kind of like this. I might, I might try this too. Movie quotes. Ooh, that could be fun. That could be fun. Who doesn't love good movie quotes? Again, they'll, they'll be horror. They have to be horror because this is a horror movie channel for the most part. Well, this is a horror movie show. On a more or less a horror channel, a movie channel, we'll call it that. <laughs> and I keep saying I'm going to dive into music one day, and I still haven't. <laughs> one day, one day. Um, believe it or not, I am actually a musician. I do have some videos that are music on my channel, but not a lot. All right, round two, everybody. You guys ready for round two? First one of round two. They're getting tougher now. So make sure I know what. First one, I don't know if I'm gonna know a lot of these ones. Uh, okay, I think I will know this one though. Yeah, I'll know that one. 
Okay. Ready? Here is the first one. And the timer starts now. Okay, that's the end of that. Did any... <laughs> Are these going to be too tr too tough? <laughs> Okay, this was Creep Show, uh, the crate, the segment. I guess is it the crate? I think it's the crate. Uh, so nobody got that. Nobody got that in time. At least not in time. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to make it longer. Gonna have more five seconds longer. But I don't think anybody got that. Anyone. <laughs> so that was from Creep Creep Show, one of the anthologies from Creep Show, the crate. It's been a while since I've watched Creep Show. I don't know if I would have got that. Probably not. I don't think I would have got that, actually. I mean, I know it from looking at it, knowing, seeing the title, but then, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> on to the next one, folks. See, these are hard. <laughs> we got to make easier ones, Joe. <laughs> we got to get easier for these guys. <laughs> uh, oh, and JT, what did you say to me earlier? Uh, he said something. Do, 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 do. Uh, send me them, Steve. I've been a musician for 25 years. Okay. Um, I don't know if, you, if you've heard the intro of this. You probably didn't hear the intro of this because you came in a little bit late. But if you go back and hear the intro of the show, that's me playing some metal stuff. <laughs> it's a, well, kind of a metal song. Sort of. A little bit. Okay. So that was Creep Show. We'll reset this. Go to our next one. Interesting little game, eh? But we, I think, I think we might have to make them easier next time. <laughs> we might have to. We'll see. Uh, hey, there's still points being given. If if we give out any points over these next couple of rounds, I think we did good. <laughs> uh, I'm watching Creep Show as we play, and still didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why Alexi found that. Why I had to read it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You missed it. Okay, yeah. I have a playlist. I'll send you. Cool. Awesome. All righty. Next one. Ready? This one This one I didn't find too hard. This one should be easy. This one I definitely would have got. So hopefully you guys do too. Yeah, we're starting timer. Isn't this fun? <laughs> uh, yeah. I got an extra five seconds. Okay. There we go. So, uh, Nerd King got it. Uh, do, do, do. Nerd King got it. Teresa Cobb got it. And JT got it. Okay. JT got that one. Nerd King got that one. And Teresa got that one. Okay. That's it, though. It's not the first Nightmare on Elm Street. It's Nightmare on Elm Street 2 Freddy's Revenge. Now you know. Uh, again, I thought that was an easy one. I'm surprised more of you didn't get it. Three of you got it, though, so that's good. Um, again, these are... Supposed, supposedly getting harder. These are medium. Wait till you get to the hard. I don't think I knew any of the hard ones. Do I know any of the hard ones? Let me just look real quick. If I was to... Okay, I know one of the hard ones. And one I'm like, would I get that? Probably not. Because I've seen it, but it's like, would I get that from that screenshot? Probably not. So... Good luck to y'all. But mind you, I'm not the biggest horror nut, so uh, just because I won't get them uh, doesn't mean you guys won't. All right. Ready for the, the next? Actually, this next one shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, shouldn't be. But we'll see. 
All right, next one. You guys all ready here? So that would make this one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're all my children now. There you go. Got to do quotes. Got to do quotes. All right, next one. You guys ready? Here it comes. There we go. And the time starts now. And that's it. Did anybody get it? Anybody get it? Um, yeah, JT got it. Poltergeist 3. Poltergeist 3. So, yeah, because it's the third one, maybe that was why it was tricky. Uh, there you go. So JT's the only one that technically gets that one. <laughs> JT, you're running away with this, man. You're running away. <laughs> See, I, I would have just said Poltergeist as well, actually. Uh, but yeah, I was like, oh, Poltergeist 3, okay. Um, okay, there you go. But JT knew. So good job on that one. Yeah, a lot of you said Poltergeist, whether it's misspelled or not. <laughs> I can't spell it. <laughs> ah, that's great. Uh, yes, yeah, so if, if, if it is a sequel, you got to say the right sequel, just so you guys know. Yeah. That. Got it. We're giving we're giving away a prize here at the end, so it's gotta it's gotta count for something. Okay. Thought, <laughs> yeah, no kidding, eh? Thought it would be the first one. Uh all right. Next one. Let me make sure I can see what the next one is. So I know. Oh yeah, I know this one. I know this one. I would have gotten this one, probably. Which means you guys probably will too. Probably. Ready there, folks. <laughs> Here's the next one. Oh, Clip Boys, thank you for tuning in, Clip Boys. You're a little late. If you if you get uh, if if you, if you want to join in though, you can, because we're playing for points, and the points get more every time. So there you go. Uh, but right now, JT is in the lead with nine points total. Teresa has five. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. and Nerd has got three, and everybody. Oh, Kimberly's got two, and one for Alexi, Margo, and Sam. There you go. You know, and everybody else doesn't have any, just like that. Uh, but you can start to play along if you want. We're in the middle of round two. We've got two left here in round two, and then we move into round three, which is the hard round where points. Uh, uh, every clip will be worth three points. Here is this one, though. And time starts now. Let's see who gets it. Let's see who gets it. Let's see who gets it. And that is time. All right, who all got it? Uh, let's see. Silent Night in the Store. No, it's not Silent Night in the Store. All right, so Teresa Cobb was the last person. The Silent Night, Deadly Night. So she was the last person to get it right. Margot Wex got it. Uh, Nerd King Productions got it. So those three got it. Nerd King gets two points. Um, yeah, Teresa Cobb got it as well, and uh, it was Margot Wex that got that as well, I believe. Just double check. Gotta double check. I want to say Silent Night in the Store. Can't give you points on that. <laughs> you got Silent Night, Silent Night part of it. You gotta say the full title. <laughs> uh, that's it. Don't count. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so it's just those three that got it. Okay. Finally, people got it that, that wasn't JT. So there you go. Making it a little bit more interesting. Still, uh, JT's got the lead, though. For now. 
We'll see. Uh, last one of round two, folks. Last one of round two. Okay. You guys ready? And then we're moving to the hard stuff. Uh, I think one of the hard ones is not that hard, though, just so you know. But it'll still be worth three points. Okay, last one of round two. Ready, guys? Here we go. And go. See if anybody gets this one. This will be interesting. And okay. Uh, nobody got that one. No, that was Vamp. I've never seen Vamp. That was Vamp. No points on that one. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think so. Uh, I'd never seen that before. I was like, "What the heck is this from?" But it looked like a screenshot that if if you'd seen the movie, you'd probably know. You know, it was one of those like, "Oh yeah, I've seen that movie a million times. It's one of my favorites." I'd never seen that movie, so I had no clue whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> are we having fun yet folks are we having fun yet folks uh so after two rounds after the easy and medium rounds those are just the easy and medium rounds scores are as follows jt is in the lead still with nine points Teresa is close behind with seven points uh nerd king productions has got five points margo has got I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Margo. <laughs> I, don't, I, I hope so. I think so, but I don't know. Uh, it's got three points. Uh, Kimberly's got two points. Alexi's got one. Sam's got one. And Bill, Peter, John, Jimmy, Susie, which I think some of those people probably aren't still here, have uh, don't have any points. And that's okay. <laughs> Not everybody's a movie nerd like JT, right? Or Teresa. JT and Trees are, cl are close, so, yeah. But you never know what can happen in round three. You never know. Anything's possible, right? Uh, we'll just see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be interesting. But uh, most of the four, I would say four, to, four out of five of these, I wouldn't get for sure. I would get just one of them. And I think the one that I would get is pretty easy. But the rest, again, it could be just if, if it's a movie you, you dig or not. I don't know. So we'll see. Here we go. Hard, everybody. We are now going moving on to the hard level. Here we go. Here we go. And oh, we got 30 seconds, well, 15 seconds or something. Yeah. I'm adding five seconds every time because they're harder and harder. Is there a super hard bonus round? Boy, no, I don't see anybody typing in. Okay, one person typed in. We're almost out of time. And that's it. Okay, at the very last second, JT got it with Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> so JT gets the three points on that. These are worth three points now. Those are super tough. This that could be uh, that could be it for JT. JT could uh, take the whole game with that one. But we'll see. You never know. That that was the only one that I would have got. Of these ones that was so uh the rest i wouldn't have gotten one of them it's like i know the movie but i haven't seen it enough and it's been a long time that i probably wouldn't have got the screenshot all the rest are all new movies to me so there we go second one of level hard 
Ready, folks? Here we go. Let's make it fun. Hoo-hoo. Let's see what you guys got here. Starting the timer here. <laughs> and that's time, folks. A lot of people are picking the howling on this one. <laughs> Joe, this is really tough for these people. Uh, uh, so unless Joe is wrong, uh, gave me the wrong answer, uh, which I don't think he did. Do, 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 do. No, he didn't. I don't think so. Uh, that was uh, a movie called Cellar Dweller. Again, that's Cellar Dweller. I've never heard of that movie. So, there you go. <laughs> I never would have got that. All right. Here comes your next one. Cellar Dweller. Nice. I had no clue. I got no idea. Oh, no, the Chan just joined the chat. Hey. Hey, no, no, I, I didn't even send you an invite to this, and I'm glad you found out. I totally forgot to send you one. Well, thank you for tuning in, and it's uh, Steve, I'm getting married. Holy crap, congratulations. Aren't you only like 19 or something like that? Boy, oh boy. Well, uh, congratulations. Hey, there's not, nobody says you can't get married when you're 19, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know how old you are. I, thought, I think you told me you were only like 19 or 20, though, but hey, that's cool. Um, congratulations, Nona, and, uh, I hope it all, I, I wish I could come to the wedding, but I'm on the other side of the planet from you, <laughs> pretty much anyways. So, yeah, never, I'm seeing a lot of people saying never heard of it for Cellar Dweller. Um, I'm one of those people, too. I've only seen one more of these films, and, uh, yeah. So, good luck to y'all. <laughs> good luck, y'all. <laughs> yes, congratulations, Nona, Nona Chan. I'm I'm sorry for forgetting to uh, to uh, invite you to today. I don't know how I forgot that. At least I think I forgot to invite you. But I'm pretty sure I forgot to invite you. Sorry about that. Um, I think I probably forget to invite a, a few people. To be honest with you, every time because there's so many people I try to remember to invite to these. Uh, to these lives, live streams I do on YouTube. I think it's because I don't do them as often as I used to. I need to get doing them more. <laughs> more Sense Designs. Jeez, I'm old. Yes, Joe made these. More Sense Designs graphics gave, sent me all these screenshots. These were the game. Um, I think you're a little older than I am, but, you know, hey, I don't. we don't know how old a lot of these people are in the chat. We know that Nona Chan's only about 19 or so, <laughs> 19 or 20. I don't know. Uh, I could be wrong on that, too. But uh, congrats again to Nona Chan. Um, when's the big date? When's the big date? Let me know. <laughs> but thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you're still there. <laughs> okay, next one. I don't know if you guys would get this. This <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Uh, yes, next one. Tough round. See if anybody gets any of these other ones. Here we go, folks. All right. There you go. And your time starts now. I never would have got this one. <laughs> uh. All right, that's the time there, folks. 
Okay, Electric Eel <laughs> from Alexi Angelino. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this was called Dead Heat. Dead Heat. Anybody seen this one? Anybody seen it? I never seen it. I never seen it. I never seen it. Never heard of it, man. Oh, I never heard of it. Joe, you got really gone damn tough on this one. <laughs> oh man, we might not give out any more points on this. this is, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You never know. We'll play it off until the end, though. Uh, movie fan. Hey, Steve, what's unseen about? Uh, is a trailer out yet? Yes. Have you not seen our teaser trailer yet? Holy crap. We've got like a we got two now two teaser trailers now. One is the one we just released a couple days ago, is um, I, it's it's a teaser, but it's uh, it's not like a, it's a typical teaser. It's I, ah, hard to explain. <laughs> I'll I'll share the links though. I'll I'll put the teaser in the chat just so that we have so that you can watch them. I'll put both in if I can. And then you can watch them. I totally thought that everybody would have seen those by now. But that's okay. Uh, let me t I got to find the link here. And I'll just put her in the chat. All right. Do, 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 do. Where doesn't spread on an original film as easily as it does on a... Uh, fan film that's for sure hey there is just drop the link for the official teaser well not official the indie the indiegogo teaser and then i'll also drop the uh the other one <laughs> the news we're calling it the news teaser <laughs> i don't know i don't know what to call it the news teaser and joe actually made this news teaser well, he made it, and, and uh, our actor Douglas uh, made the, the news news spot for it. It's a news update. It's basically a news update with some clips. Yeah, that's all it is. I will get the last couple here after I drop these. Okay, there you go, movie fan six five seven three eight. Nine five twenty two something. Uh, a lot of numbers in there. Uh, there you go. You can check those out. All right, two more to go, I believe. Two more, just two more. Breaking news teaser. I like that's that's good. The breaking news teaser says Alexi. By the way, Alexi's one of our producers on the film. She is uh, from uh, AKA Productions. There you go. Thank you, Alexi, for joining in and playing along. It's fun. Uh, okay, there we go. Ready for the next one, folks? Good luck to you. <laughs> and there you go. Timer starts now. <laughs> and that is time okay nerd king productions got the right answer it's ghoulies wow good job nerd king productions gets three points on that and Closes the gap between him and uh, and JT. However, ooh. So if Nerd King gets this next one right, if my math is correct, that is, because my math is not the best. If Nerd King gets this, this next one right and uh, JT gets it wrong, doesn't get it right, we'll say that, then we have a tie game. Tie game, and then we'll have to do something to break the tie. Uh, but I think that's basically who it's between right now. 
It's basically between those two because I don't think Teresa, Teresa does not have enough points to catch JT. So, who will win, Nerd King or JT? We shall see. There we go. Okay. Ooh, tiebreaker. Tiebreaker would be cool. It'd be fun to do that. Would be fun to do that. Okay. Uh, you guys, if you can, even though you're not in it for this last question, you can still answer. And you can answer to try to throw somebody off if you want. <laughs> That's fun to do sometimes. Okay. Last one, folks. Will we have a tiebreaker or will JT be the big winner? We'll see. Here we go. Last one. And your time starts now. <laughs> I'll do something creative for tiebreaker if I have to. <laughs> and that is it. Did anybody get it? Nobody got it. Not no. So no. And the fact that nerd cat. Nerd uh, King Productions did... Oh, he did ring in after it's too late, unfortunately. Uh, Maniac Cop is not it. This was the one that I thought maybe <coughs> some of you would get. Because it is a film I at least kind of recognize. And that's Shocker. This was Wes Craven's Shocker. That is Wes Craven, right? I think so. Uh, yeah, shocker. So that means JT is the big winner. No tiebreaker. We didn't really have a tiebreaker clip anyway, so it would I would have had to do trivia or a quote. Ooh, could have done that, but I won't. <laughs> uh, so yes, JT is the big winner with how many points? You got twelve points. Uh, Nerd King Productions, you got uh, nine or sorry, eight points. Is that right? No, that's not right, is it? Nine points. Yes, nine points. Twelve points for JT. Nine points for Nerd King. Seven points for Teresa and Kimberly. Or Mar uh, Margo got three. Kimberly got two. And blah. And yeah. You guys did great. You guys did great. But there can only be one winner. And that's JT. JT, you get to choose a perk from our campaign. It has to be a perk. That is under $100 US. So you get to choose any of the perks. Uh, let me just sort of, again, I only see them in Canadian. And I'll let you choose. Maybe I'll give you I'll give you three options. Sorry, no, forget the $100 or less. I'll give you three perk options. I'll give you three. And you get to choose one of the three. Forget that $100 crap. But it'll be in that area. Uh, you can get... Uh, you can get a, uh, no, that's too much. Um, you can get the <laughs> Brett Wagner autographed headshot. You can get the video chat with the director or, uh, uh, or, uh, Trinity. Uh, yeah, we'll say Trinity's, uh, headshot. There you go. So you get your choice of those three. Brett Wagner signed headshot, Trinity Chase signed headshot, or the video chat with moi, the director, Steve Merlo. And that can be, by the way, the, the video chat can be done over your YouTube channel or something like, or my YouTube channel. You can come on my YouTube channel and promote your own YouTube channel if you want. You can have a big discussion about that. You choose whichever one you want of those three uh, you can, you can have, and, uh, we'll see what he's, see what he wants. Trinity's headshot. Why not? Okay. We're going to do Trinity's headshot. That'll be signed by the lovely Trinity chase. You didn't want to do the, the chat with me. <laughs> That's all good. No worries, man. No worries. Uh, I'll probably just come on your show sometime anyways, <laughs> but, uh, there you guys go. I uh, hope you guys had fun with that. Uh, and remember, please uh, keep uh, keep pushing our Indiegogo. I want to try to hit some goals here. I want to at least 
got to at least hit that that goal. I was hoping that we could, you know, hit some stretch goals before the 30 days uh, were up. That's unlikely. You never know. Um, but it'd be nice because it'd make my pre-production go so smoothly. It really would. You have no idea how smoothly that would help me uh, make pre-production go if I had more money to to work with it. But <laughs> it's all good. Just uh, do as much as you got guys can to uh, to share it as much as you can. If you got a few bucks that you can donate, I appreciate it. Uh, and if not, it's not a big deal. But uh, share it if you can, and uh, I'll even share it in the uh, in the chat here. It is in the description, along with a lot of those other links I dropped uh, earlier also in the description. We're not doing bad, I and mean, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, but we need to do better. That's all. we got to do better. Um, but no matter what, we're going to have a good production. If we still got money to get pre-production going well, that's for sure. But hitting that, I got to have a, a campaign that's in demand. That's my thing. I got to have a campaign that's in demand. So that's why I need to hit the goal on this campaign. There is the Indiegogo. Smash it, says Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> you didn't answer any of those questions, Jimmy. Did you, did you really not know him? I know you're a big horror fan, man. Or maybe just... Sitting back and watching. Who knows? <laughs> I could see that. Next live stream, I'll be there early. Well, thanks, man. I hope so. It's all good. I appreciate you guys just coming in. You don't have to be there early, but you don't have if you, if you can't make it to these uh, live streams. I totally get it. We all got schedules, so and uh, I tend to ramble, but you guys don't want to hear me ramble so much. <laughs> uh. Hope everyone had fun. Definitely more to come. Yes, definitely more to come. Let, and guys, let me know if you'd be interested in a movie quotes thing kind of along the same basis. You just have to name the movie, basically. <laughs> Phone call. Yep, yep. Yeah, you and I got a chat. That's for sure, Jimmy. We got to have a chat again. Does anybody have any questions about our movie? We had a question earlier, and that was, where's your teaser? <laughs> There you go. And I'm glad you guys liked it, uh, movie fan. What did he say about that again? Uh, broke down last month, but I'll, 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 I hope you sell DVDs. Yeah, DVDs are on uh, the Indiegogo. Uh, so as long as our campaign is up, there'll be DVDs. And, and if we do have to start another Indiegogo, yes, DVDs and Blu-rays and VHS will all be available uh, as well. Uh, but he, what did he say earlier about the teaser? What did he say about the teaser? Watch them both were good. That's all he said. Okay, that's cool. Sorry, I meant to... Uh, oh, it's on a call, but yeah, we'll talk again. Oh, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Uh, clips, I'd fail immediately. What? What are you guys talking about? Oh, let's do some Scream movie qu questions. Scream movie questions. Ooh. I have had them on the on the on the horror trivia before uh clips boy but not a lot uh i've only seen the first two so i mean when i'm making these questions i typically make questions from movies i've at least seen uh i i'll be honest i checked out a scream after after the second movie i felt like i was watching a rehash of the first movie so i didn't bother watching anymore and i've heard that some of them are better and i just i don't know i just Kind of lost interest. I liked the first one, but I liked it. I didn't, I can't say I loved it. <laughs> you know, I can't say I loved the first screen. I liked it though. I really liked it. I really liked it. I would like to be able to say I loved the first screen movie, but I didn't. But I liked it. It was okay. I don't know. Uh, one of these days I'll watch all the screen movies. Maybe. If I get to it, I finally, I finally watched Halloween ends though. Everybody, I finally saw it. I'm going to have to re-rank my Halloween movies. Uh, I wonder if I should probably do a, not a review, but a discussion on Halloween ends first though. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Uh, it's in, it's, I, cause it, it's kind of a, an interesting movie to talk about. We'll see. Um, I don't know. It's uh, I saw it. 
I'll say that much. I saw Halloween ends finally. I can say I've seen all the Halloween movies again. It took me a while to see that one, but uh, finally did. I didn't. Well, I didn't have it. I mean, it was in theaters, but I didn't bother to go see it because everybody was crapping on it. So I didn't bother to go see Halloween Ends in the theaters. I thought it was probably pointless. There you go. Um, and I was just waiting for streaming. And it never did come to any streaming service, so I had to look online. Sometimes you get lucky with those. Not as lucky as you used to get with those, I tell you. Back like five, six, seven years ago, there were all these sites that would play all the latest stuff. Now I can't. Now that they, I think they probably all don't exist anymore. At least I can't find them anymore anyway, so. Uh, any questions before I go? I, I'm seeing a lot of chats going on, so uh, I just want to read your chats a little bit. Do, 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 do. Uh, Jimmy, let's go back to this one. Jim, Jimmy Presley says, I liked ends, most hate it. He liked it, most hate it um, that I've seen. I've seen a mix. I've seen a mix. I won't, I won't spoil. I, I'll, I'll, I'll do a discussion on it. I think at some point. So I won't tell you whether I liked it or, or, or not. Let's just say I definitely didn't like it as much as I would have liked to. <laughs> uh, that's an easy one. Okay. Uh, JT's horror discussion. Yeah, I'm one. I very rarely use the word hate for films. <laughs> I, I, I always can at least pull a thing or two positives out of most films, but not for ends. Oh. Huh. Really despised it, huh? Hate is a tough word. It is a tough word. It is a tough word. Uh, that set photo and the Sorry Massacre poster look uh, look like a group photo. Yes, it. The behind me, you're looking at uh, the photo on there. That is a picture sent by our production manager on the Sawyer Massacre, Chris Parcini. Uh, and that photo was at our world premiere in Austin, Texas, back, oh, geez, just pretty much about a year ago, a little, a little less than a year ago, August of last year, at our world premiere. And uh, you probably can't tell, but Alan Danziger from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre is in that photo, and he also signed it, which you probably also can't see because I got so much crap. In, I got to clean this dresser off, move some of this over, and maybe you can see. His signature. I don't know. Maybe. Of course, everything's going to fall when I do that. Everything's going to fall. So that's how it works. Uh, maybe you can see it now. I don't know. <laughs> His signature's on there, just so you know. Um, and he was a great, great guy to meet, and he, he came to our world premiere. Isn't that pretty cool? I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, well, you guys are chatting a lot, so i got to be able to read some of your guys' stuff here. Okay. Clips boy ends is all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jim, that's why I always try to avoid it. Yeah, when someone tells me they hated a movie, I ask, "So you didn't like a single thing in it?" That's a terrible film. If you can pull a few positives out of the movie, it wasn't terrible. Uh, Halloween uh, was my first horror film at six years old. Wow, that young, eh? Uh, man. Six years old, Halloween night, uh, my third favorite film of all time. It's my third favorite horror film of all time, the original Halloween, behind Chainsaw and Black Christmas, both from 1974. No remakes, please, <laughs> for those. Uh, and then Halloween is number three. So, there you go. Teresa Cobb, uh, Cobb Nightmare 3. Are you talking about Nightmare on Elm Street 3? A lot of people like uh nightmare on elm street 3 i was not a big fan i like the first one the most and second one pretty close to the first but i liked i think i liked the i think i like nightmare on elm street part 2 more, more for the look of freddy though than anything else but the movie's pretty good the movie's not bad i don't know that people don't like the the character i guess the character's gay whatever who cares guys who cares i don't care um, but I think that's why a lot of people don't like Freddy's Revenge, but that's okay. 
do, do. That's what I've heard from a lot of people that didn't like it anyways. Uh, I'm sure not everybody feels that way, but I liked the movie. I actually kind of thought, thought it was a good movie. But I liked the first one the most. But uh, 3 is when Freddy kind of got goofy for me. I, I, he, he stopped being scary for me after that. And so I kind of check out with that series after the second one. Uh, do, 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 do. What else do we got? That's uh, Sawyer Massacre liked it a lot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jimmy. You're in, you're in it. Jimmy's actually in the movie twice. Jimmy is actually in the Sawyer Massacre twice. It's two different characters. Yes, he's in. J- Jimmy plays uh, Clyde, the voice on the walkie-talkie that you hear um, Hank talk to, the electrician. He's Clyde, so that's his voice you hear. And he's also Jimmy Presley. He's uh, Jimmy Presley. He's in himself. He's a photograph, his photograph. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. It's himself, but a different Jimmy Presley, because Jimmy Presley was not alive. In, uh, our Jimmy Presley, I know, wasn't even alive in 1965. So I believe Jimmy and I are the same age. I think you got, there's, you're like a couple months older than me, something like that. Uh, do, 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 do. I hope I don't miss any questions. I'm trying to read through all your guys' chats here. This will be perfect film. Uh, Nightmare 2 was very good, fun. I adore 2. I had director Jane. Okay, we're talking about Nightmare 2. Also did Wishmaster 2. And I haven't seen any of the Wishmaster movies in a very long time. I'm not even sure if I've seen two. I've seen a couple of them. But it's been a long time. Had a blast. 43 here. Yeah, 43 here for this dude, too. So, yeah. We're the same age, bud. You're just, I think you're a couple months older than me. I think you're in like March or April, and I'm in June. So, 39 there for Teresa. You're not too far behind there, Teresa. <laughs> a one year left of the 30s. Oh, man. 40 is like, that's a hard one. <laughs> ah, I wish I could be 39 forever. <laughs> uh, first two are great. Don't even bother with uh, three and four. Do, 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 do. I don't even know what movies we're talking about there, to be honest, JT, because there's so many chats going on. Uh, favorite horror movie of all time is Halloween 78. That's There you go. My third favorite, but cool. It's a, it's a pretty awesome movie. Halloween 78. Oh, February 9th. Okay, so yeah, you're like five months, five months older than me. There you go. June 30th, 1980 for me there, Jimmy. June 30th, the day before Canada Day. And not long before... America Day. What do you guys call America Day there? Oh, yeah, 4th of July, Independence Day, something like that. (laughs) I'm a Canuck, folks. I'm a Canuck. Excuse me. I needed some water. (laughs) Uh, Let's see if there's anything else here. Um, Jimmy Presley, my favorite is Friday the 13th, 1980. Hey, coincidence that it's our birth year? Yeah, but still, it's pretty cool. Uh, I like I like Friday the Thirteenth. I've never been a big Friday guy though, but the first one is my favorite of the whole series, and I do like it. I do like it. Not so much. Well, part two isn't bad too. I get lost. I kind of get I lost in all the other ones. So I I can't remember a lot of things that happened in all the other. Friday the Thirteenth. All the J- Jason is always the same in 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 all of them to me, except for Part Two because he's sackhead, right? But <laughs> different. It was different. Yeah. Do, 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 did I see a question? Friday Four is the best slash. Oh, okay. Friday Four. I didn't. I never cared for. Uh, that was the final chapter, right? Final chapter. I th- I've seen it. I don't know. It just doesn't. I don't know. Friday, Friday Thirteenth movies just don't do a lot for me. Other than the first, first one really, and the second one is not bad. For me, anyways, it's been a while. You know what? These are movies I'd probably need to rewatch 
But, you know, these are movies that I've watched. You know, I watched them all in my 20s. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Every movie was kind of okay. Uh, except for the first one. I'd say the first one is a pretty exceptional film. Have you seen the uh, Hatchet movies? I think I've seen one. I think, I think I've seen the first one. I have to go back and rewatch it. But, yes, I have seen the first one. Uh, I just did watch parties for the four hatchets last one. I have to see. I'd have to see more before I can comment too much on the hatchet movies. I I believe I just seen the first one. I love sleep, Sleepaway Camp and Nightmare Three. There you go. Oh, well, we you know we've got somebody from Sleepaway Camp in our <laughs> in our movie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys all know that, right? You guys all know that. Uh, Felissa Rose is attached to our movie, attached to be in Unseen. Um, so let's make that happen. But we got to raise funds. That's that's why I urge that because I want to keep Felissa Rose in our film. You know, we could stop raising funds right now. I don't. We we'll, we'll still make the film. No matter what, we're going to make the film. But you won't get you won't get Felissa Rose in it with with what we have right now. Guaranteed, she's attached. But uh, and she's a and she's a very very flexible flexible person, but uh, you know we definitely need to raise more money if we're going to have Felicia in this movie. I think we will. We definitely will. I'm not going to rush it. <laughs> I will do a third campaign if I have to, folks. I don't wanna, but I will do it. You know, I ha- remember I did four campaigns for Sawyer Masters. Just remember that. That's how I'm persistent, guys. <laughs> Jimmy knows. Jimmy's been with me for, <laughs> been hanging out with this dude for a while now. He knows how how much I pushed, pushed these uh, these films, <laughs> pushed these Indiegogo campaigns. Uh, oh man, you guys are chatting so fast. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. <laughs> I'll just look for questions if there's any questions at this point. It's, uh, it's cool to chat them about uh, certain things, but if anybody has a questions has a question, let me know. Uh, well, there's my name, so I'll read that one. Steve knows she is a white whale of horror for me to get on the channel. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, we're talking Felissa there. She's a, she's a hard person to get a hold of. Period. So. It's not easy to get her to do live stuff, and I, she she has done some before, but it's it's tricky, man. It's tricky for sure. Uh, do, 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 any any questions? Do, do, do. That seems that seems like that's about it. Same with my my bloody Valentine. Hey, JT, did you see Valentine Bluffs? My bloody Valentine fan film, really good. Really good. <laughs> My buddy Thomas Smith made that movie. He's going to be doing SFX for uh, our film. Pretty awesome. Anyways, guys, I uh, think... Oh, no, we did, it looks like we got a question here. Steve, are you looking forward to Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game, or will you not play it? I'm not a big gamer. I'm not a big gamer. Um, I will definitely be checking it out. I know a lot of people are excited for the game. I've never been a big gamer. I don't have a video game system other than my old Sega Master System from 1986, which I haven't played in years <laughs> since I was definitely at least in my 30s, which I'm not anymore. Uh, long gone now. We, we've covered that. So, uh, I mean, I, I think it's interesting. It looks inter- like a, like they've done some interesting things with it. Um, from what I've seen, I'll be kind of seeing reactions from people, but I doubt I'll ever get a chance to play it. I doubt, I don't even know what, what it's coming out on. Yeah. You never know. Um, could be fun. I do like, I do enjoy playing some video games here and there. Uh, obviously I enjoy playing them a lot more when I was younger, but I'm, you know, there are some days I'm like, ah, it'd be cool to set up the old Sega Master System and rock out to some uh, Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. and <laughs> Ah, the classics. 
so good. <laughs> but if any of you are like, what the hell is Sega Master System? That was the Sega console that came out before the Sega Genesis. It came out the exact same time as the NES from Nintendo in the 1980s. But Nintendo was popular and Sega was not popular. But I still prefer the uh, the Sega. I played both. But I always preferred the Sega games. It just wasn't as popular for whatever reason. But to me, the games were better than Nintendo. But uh, anyways, yeah, it's 8-bit eight gra eight graphics. But, uh, you know, they're fun. It's fun. I liked it. <laughs> uh, now we're talking video games. So we're getting so far off topic that we probably shouldn't even... Well, it's all good. <laughs> Uh, I'll see if there's any more questions. If there's no more questions, you guys mostly have been chatting amongst yourselves, I think. Yeah, uh, I can't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Super Nintendo, still dig NES and Super Nintendo. Yeah, if you've, if you've never played Sega Master System, System Jimmy, you probably dig it. Again, I personally like the games more for the Sega systems rather than the Nintendo. I liked some of the Nintendo. Like Nintendo, you had um, my favorite games were uh, Legend of Zelda, Castlevania, the original Mar Super Mario Brothers was pretty good. Um, there was another one I used to like called it's, I want to I always want to say Dungeons and Dragons, but it wasn't called. Was it Demons and War Warriors? And, Warriors and Wizards, I think. That I used to really like. Um, other than that, though, those were the only games for NES that I really, 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 really liked, for the most part. Yeah. Oh, you love Sega too. There you go. <laughs> uh, and that's how you know Jimmy and I are the same age. <laughs> uh, named all my favorite Wonder Boy Three: The Dragon's Trap will always be my favorite game for Sega Master System. They did do a version of that same game for Sega Genesis. It's not called the Drag... What's it called? And they actually released the, the game with, like, updated graphics. Like, the, you can get it as a game on your phone in the App Store. Uh, I think it's called, like, the Dragon's Curse or something like that. I think so. I could be wrong. But that's my favorite game. Anyways... Wizards and Warriors. Yeah, I, I remember playing that game a lot. I used to like that game. So, but no, I didn't. I didn't play that one quite as much as I played uh, Castlevania and Legend of Zelda. Those were the two I really probably played the most for NES. Yeah, I never really played the Super Nintendo. I've heard a lot of people love the Super Nintendo. Um, I don't know. I just never really played it. Anyways chatting on for a long time oh Mega Man yeah it was cool I never really played Mega Man but my cousin Dave uh used to play that one ritually and we used to just watch him play it it looked it looked like a lot of fun yeah so there you go do, 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 do. all right guys thank you guys so much don't see any more questions so we'll we'll uh we'll call it a night there hope you guys had fun uh playing this wonderful game and uh thank you jt for uh well thank you everybody and congratulations to jt for winning a uh, headshot of trinity chase our lead actress congrats on that and uh we will be seeing you very soon with another episode i'm gonna try to get some cast members on next time uh we'll uh, keep you posted on that hopefully i can get it get something for next week uh, but i'll keep you posted yeah, and again, support that Indiegogo. Uh, help us get our campaign in demand, and we appreciate all the support that you guys have given us so far, and let's make a movie. All right, have yourselves a good night, everybody, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>